A wind turbine uses the motion energy in the wind to generate electricity. A generator helps transfer the motion energy directly to electrical energy using magnets and wire. You'll use the completed wind can do work model to create this wind turbine generator. This activity will help you transform the paperclip lifting model into an electrified wind turbine. Your wind can do work models blades, rotor, and monopile will all transform wind energy into motion energy. But now your model will spin a magnet instead of a string. A changing magnetic field can induce an electrical current, especially if the electrons are given a path through which to pass their charge. By wrapping magnetic coated wire, you'll have the opportunity to build your own copper coils. The spinning magnetic force created by the spinning magnets will push the negatively charged electrons through these copper coils. If you can move electrons, you can generate electricity. This activity is an extension of the NEED Project's Win Can Do Work activity, so make sure that you have a fully assembled Win Can Do Work wind turbine before you start. In order to generate electricity, you need to change a magnetic field. In this case, we'll be spinning these two powerful neodymium magnets using our wind turbine. To help connect your magnets to your wind turbine, you'll need to print and cut out the magnet templates. As the magnets spin, they'll attract and repel electrons, which will push their charge through this magnetic wire. All of this will take place in our nacelle, or toilet paper roll in this case. To help make that transformation from toilet paper to nacelle, you'll need to print and cut out the nacelle template. That magnetic wire has an enamel or paint on it that will use sandpaper to sand off. The sanded wire will give you a conductive surface to connect your two alligator clips. And the alligator clips will connect to the multimeter, which will tell us our voltage or our output, how much electricity we're generating with our wind turbine. To put it all together, you'll need a few tools, including a hot glue gun with glue sticks. You'll make some very specific measurements using a ruler or measuring tape. You'll definitely need a good pair of scissors and a roll of thinner masking tape, but any tape will help. All right, let's get building. For this first set of steps, you can either flatten your toilet paper roll or keep it round depending on your tracing skills. Cut out the nacelle template. Hold or tape the nacelle template in the vertical center of the toilet paper roll. The pointed edges of the nacelle template will be 1.8 centimeters from the open edges of the toilet paper roll. Try to get it as centered and straight as possible. Once the nacelle template is in place, trace the shape onto the roll and carefully cut it out. Reshape the toilet paper roll as needed. You can always start the cut using a push pin or have an adult help. To prepare the nacelle for generation, unclip the binder clip from the back of your original wind turbine's rotor. This is the stirrer straw. And set the rotor and blade aside. Remove the pin from the stirrer and set that aside as well. Place the modified toilet paper roll over the smaller end of the cup. Adjust the roll so that it runs parallel to the straw on the top of the turbine. Place the straw running directly down the center of the toilet paper roll. Connect the toilet paper roll to the cup by placing one large piece of tape over the toilet paper roll and cup, perpendicular to the toilet paper roll. It should extend from the side of the cup over the roll and to the other side of the cup. Tape the ends of the toilet paper roll in place to help wrap your coils. Extend a piece of tape from one side of the open toilet paper roll's bottom and connect it to the side of the cup directly underneath. Make sure the tape covers the gap between the cup and roll. Repeat for the other side of the roll. This will give the wires a place to kind of rest as you wrap them. Leave a tail of magnetic wire hanging off the side of the toilet paper roll. Tape that wire in place on top of the roll. Begin wrapping the wire around one end of your toilet paper roll nacelle. Complete 150 or more wraps of magnetic wire around one end of the toilet paper roll. Wire wraps should be in the same directions 
Try to make them as tight and close together as possible. You can tape the wrapped coil of wires as needed to prevent unspooling or if you need to take a break in the middle of your 150 wraps. After at least 150 wraps, secure the coil of wire in place using tape to keep your coils intact and in place. Continue the wire across the top of the toilet paper roll nacelle without cutting it so that it extends to the other side of the tube. Tape the wire near the edge of the other side of the toilet paper roll where you'd like to start wrapping your next coil. Start wrapping the wire in the same direction that you wrapped the other end of the nacelle. Complete 150 or more wraps of magnetic wire around this end of the toilet paper roll. Tape the wrapped coil of wires as needed to prevent unspooling or if you need to take a break while wrapping. After at least 150 tight, close wire wraps, tape the coil in place with tape to keep the coil intact and in place. Leave a 20 centimeter or longer tail of wire on this side and cut the wire. You may want to tape the entire uh, set of wires in place to keep them sturdy. Cut out both magnet templates. Cut out both magnet templates. Fold tabs A and B inward to the dotted lines on both templates. Line up the edge of tab A on one template to one end of one magnet and hot glue it in place up to the dotted line. Line up the edge of tab B to the other end of the magnet and hot glue it in place up to the dotted line. This will leave a small gap between the paper and the magnet. Repeat this process for the second magnet. This will allow you to slide the magnets onto the rotor to test spacing. Slide one magnet onto the stirrer so it's next to the blades. Reinsert the pin into the stirrer on the opposite side of that magnet. Glide the coffee stirrer back into the large straw in the center of your toilet paper roll. Slide the other magnet onto the other end of the coffee stirrer. From here, you can adjust the magnets and pin placement. The magnet should spin in the middle of your copper coils as the blades spin freely. You can mark the location of the magnets and pins using a permanent marker. Now that our spacing makes sense, remove the back magnet from the stirrer and remove the stirrer from the large straw. Remove the pin from the coffee stirrer. Add a bead of hot glue to the blade end of the stirrer, up to the side of the marker line or where your magnet's original test placement was. Slide the magnet onto this line of hot glue so that it lines up with its original placement. Add additional hot glue as needed to keep that magnet in place. Reinsert the pin next to the blade side magnet at your marker line. Insert the stirrer into the large straw. The pin should allow the rotor to spin freely. Add another bead of hot glue to the back end of the coffee stirrer, up to the side where the original magnet was located. You may have also marked this with a permanent marker. Slide the magnet onto this line of hot glue so that it lines up with the original magnet's position. Add additional hot glue as needed and make sure that it still spins freely. To create a conductive surface, you need to sand the enamel or paint coating off of the ends of the two wire tails that are hanging off of your nacelle. Now that you have that conductive surface, you can connect the alligator clips to each of your wind turbine's wire leads. Connect your multimeter to the alligator clips, red to red, black to black. Set your multimeter to 200 millivolts and either start your fan or give it a physical spin to see if it's working. If your voltage is consistently negative, switch the alligator clips around. Once your generator is generating electricity, 
turn on a fan to give it a real test. Try it in different locations outside to see which wind is consistent and which can provide more generated electricity for you. Once you have consistently positive voltage coming off of your multimeter, add a small flag of tape to each wire lead coming off of the wind turbine. Mark the wire lead that is connected to the red terminal on the multimeter as positive by drawing a plus sign on its tape flag. Mark the wire lead that's connected to the black terminal on the multimeter as negative by drawing a minus symbol on its tape flag. 